Welcome aboard, Skylark Outdoors here, and today we're going to review the Bennington 25QX or the Bennington 25QSX. Specifically, this is the Bennington 25QSX 15R. The designations with Bennington are kind of a little funky, however, this is a really neat pontoon, and we're going to go through all the features, walk around on it, and I'm going to give you my opinion on this particular pontoon. Now, what is very impressive about this pontoon is its top speed. So, we are at the Bay Harbor Boat Show here in Petoskey, Michigan, and you can see that price on this is $200,355 as of 2020. 24. So quite an astounding price for a pontoon. But what do you get for that and what is so different about this boat? Well, the number one reason that this boat probably has that big price tag is it is outfitted with a Mercury 400 horsepower single engine. And that can push this thing at a top speed close to 50 miles per hour. Now you can see here the Bennington seats are nice and puffy very comfortable to sit on they have plenty of cup holders this boat is one of those boats that you have got cup holders all over the place you can never have too many you can see they also have a lot of speakers and then in the front here rather than that gate that you traditionally see in a pontoon they've got a seat there now you can still use that gate but they do have that removable seat there you've got a little hatch there to put some water skis in you want and as we move to the back we've got more seating back here Wonderful captain's helm chair, a little storage locker down here, and a pathway light you can see right there to the right, and a rail. There's a little bit of a windshield. I do wish that the uh, windshield was a little bit larger because if you are cruising at 50 miles an hour with 400 horsepower, you're going to get your bugs in your face if you uh, are going on a uh, nighttime run or a little bit in the evening when the bugs start to come out. So I like a windshield so that uh, it's getting a lot of those bugs out of the way. You can see the throttle here. Uh, these are Mercury Controls. That captain's chair, pretty comfortable. It'll swivel around. You've got an armrest on each side. And then as we move to the back here, you've got a little table, more cup holders, four cup holders in there. And all these armrests will fold down and even more cup holders uh, in those as well. So you can see the vinyl on this, uh, really beautiful. You've got inlays in there with uh, that diamond stitch pattern. And then back here, you've got another little storage locker. You throw a water skis, wakeboard, tube, whatever you want back there. And as we move to the back, you've got this seat here, which you can move this uh, backwards or forwards. And what that's going to do is create a day bed for you or seating. Now, in the back here, you got a nice little swim platform. You can jump off, get back on. They do have a ladder in the back of this Bennington pontoon as well. And you can see that beautiful V10 400 horsepower Mercury engine right there. So this is not a V8. This is a V10. And let me tell you, when you start these things up, they do sound like a supercar. You can just hear that grumble in the engine. And if you look right there, there's a little uh, circle down in the lower right-hand corner. That is actually a um, port to put in a tow tower a ski tow tower there uh, so you've got a pole that you put in there and then you can tow a skier or tuber or wakeboarder and then you've got this ladder here i do like that this ladder has nice wide steps um, if you've ever been on and off of a boat a lot of times the ladders are just like a piece of a round pole that they weld together and uh, sometimes it can be hard to get up on those ladders with those full steps it's going to be much more comfortable on your feet much easier to get in this is uh, that fuel tank and storage right there so this is one thing about bennington that is hard to kind of figure out uh, from their website as well as even the specifications here if you freeze earlier in the video you're going to see the specifications on this uh, but they don't always list the fuel capacity for each boat because they kind of build each boat to a customer's order and you can choose the options. So on this boat, you can get uh, anywhere from 30 to 50 gallons of fuel on it, which sounds like a lot, but you are pushing a 400 horsepower engine on this thing. That thing is going to suck up fuel faster than you would think. So I would recommend uh, in the future they give you an option for even more fuel storage because 30 gallons, uh, 30 and even 50 gallons for this size uh, motor in this size boat, even though pontoons are notoriously efficient, especially if you're not 
taking this around at uh, 50 miles an hour full throttle all the time, you're going to go through a lot more fuel than you think um, with a 400 horsepower outboard engine. Now this does have six speakers. Uh, it's got exterior and underwater lighting. That's really cool. Now you can turn that on and people see it coming across the lake in addition to the navigation lights. You've got a wash down system, privacy curtain. So you have uh, in that rear bed a little area that'll pop up. It's got a privacy curtain you can change and or use a little porta potty back there. You've got your fire extinguisher over here, your typical mercury controls. This one has, it looks like Simrad for your GPS, depth finder, fish finder, transducer. And then uh, it's eight foot six, 28 feet approximately, 0 0.08 inch pontoons. This weighs in at approximately 3,000 pounds dry, 13 person capacity. And uh, you've got that head privacy curtain, which pops up from that basic uh, rear bench. I do like that option if somebody needs to use the restroom and you're way far out on the water. Um, it gives that option to be able to do that. And here we are just at the front of the boat again. You can see there is a swim platform on the front of this as well. Now, just a couple of comments on Bennington in general um, and what I think. These are definitely high quality boats. They have comfort in mind in terms of the seating. That's the big selling point. And then you're going to get performance in terms of speed. A lot of pontoons this side previously, pre, or pontoons this size previously, would have been outfitted with something like uh, 75 horsepower, 100 horsepower, 115 horsepower if you wanted to go fast and tow someone around. This is uh, 400 horsepower, so four times. This pontoon, you're going to be able to ski behind, you're going to be able to uh, wakeboard behind, you're going to be able to uh, tow someone on a tube behind at 400 horsepower and 3,000 pounds of power to weight ratio on this thing is insane. Not to mention that pontoons, as long as they're not loaded down, have typically a more efficient shape in the water uh, that allows them to burn less fuel and go faster because you've got that pontoons and less surface area than a typical hull. Now, in terms of Bennington, if you go on their website, you can build a boat. But what's kind of confusing is they've got a Q, R, L, and S designation. And this particular boat is a 25 QSX-15R, which I believe stands for, uh, it's the Q series. S is either for sport, or single and there's a qx series and uh because it is single engine you can get bennington's outfitted with twin engines we're actually going to have another video on that as well and then uh the r so you've you've got kind of all these numbers and everything uh jumbled together i feel like that can lead to some confusion uh with consumers when you look at other boat brands you'll have a let's just say a cobalt and it'll have a name or to have a designation uh, based on the length, but there's not so many variations. And I understand that Bennington makes custom boats, but if there was a way they could designate these, um, maybe with just a model style, uh, the 25, I don't know what you want to call it, bobcat or, or something that is a water animal or water fish, maybe call it the Bennington Pike. I don't know. I know that they're going for a higher name than that, but if you look on their website, that is one thing that is a little bit confusing, is trying to determine uh, what the different between the different lineup models are, and they'll say, oh, this is a premium, this is a sport, but what does that really mean? I'm sure a Bennington uh, dealer could definitely inform you of that, but once again, one thing you have to understand about Bennington pontoons, and why I'm glad to bring this video to you, is these are $200,000 pontoons. You are not going to find many dealers that have 10 of these pontoons in stock. Whereas if you go to a more traditional, uh, lower price pontoon, you might see the same model with a whole bunch of different accoutrements, different layouts on it. There might be 10 or 12 of those on a lot on a bigger boat deal. But at $200,000 a pop, these boats, there's just not as big of a market for them. I mean, there is a large market, but not as big as the small pontoon or lower end pontoon market. But also, that is a lot of cost for dealer inventory to be on the lot. If you've got, uh, 
you know, five boats on your lot, all of a sudden you have a million dollars in pontoons sitting there on the lot. And that is a big investment uh, for somebody to have out there. So designations between the line lineup, I think, become even more important to help people distinguish between what they really want and what the differences are between the Q, R, L, and S series. But overall, this is a really cool pontoon. I think the, the biggest selling point, if I'm looking at this, is that... At a 50 mile an hour top speed, you can get where you want to go uh, quickly if you're on a big lake and or you're near big water, maybe like the intercoastal or you've got intercoastal and a cut through out to the ocean. I know in the past, taking a pontoon on the ocean seemed crazy, but with 400 horsepower, you can trim this thing up and just cut through whatever you want as long as you don't load the bow up and you pick your days on which you are going to... Uh, take this out and the same goes for big lakes you know if you're on a 20 mile uh, long lake having a 50 mile an hour top speed to get from point a to point b will significantly cut down how long it takes you to transverse the lake and get where you want to go get to the beach get to the swimming hole or if you want to ski having that additional power that whole shot is going to be really nice to be able to have somebody ski behind it and i think that's what's cool about these pontoons compared to pontoons of the past is that you're no longer sacrificing the water sports aspect or speed aspect when you go into a pontoon. So if you want a deck boat that you're going to be able to get a lot of people on and have 13 passengers, or if you had a big family, you can absolutely do this. You're going to have a lot of space. And this also has that canopy, but you're still going to be able to water ski, wakeboard, and two behind this thing. And then on top of that, you're going to be able to take whoever you want out on the water. And you're going to be able to do it fast. So it's not going to take you a long time to get across the lake. So thank you for watching this review of the Bennington 25QX or the Bennington 25QSX15R. Really cool boat here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to give us that thumbs up, subscribe. That's going to help support the channel. And take a look at any of our links below that are going to show you courses on how to be a better boater and a couple really cool things you probably didn't know about. Some courses we've got on being outdoors that are going to help you and just some things to enjoy. So thanks for watching and we will see you next time.